Today we're going to learn how to make a YouTube thumbnail in PicMonkey. From your home page, select Create New to start a project, or simply click on the YouTube thumbnail blank canvas to get started. Once you're in the editor, you can browse for a pre-made design template of your choice. Click on templates on the left and then search YouTube thumbnail or choose it from the drop down. Every time you click on a template, you can preview it larger. Once you make a change, however, you'll have to start a new project. We're going to use this one. So let's change the picture out first by clicking on it, hitting delete, and going up to add image to bring in our own. So we've saved an image in Hub, our cloud storage, which is where we're going to grab it from. But you can also grab your own picture from your desktop or from stock photos, for instance. Once you choose the photo that you want to use, um, it will be on your canvas. We're going to remove the background by clicking Remove Background on the image palette. It's a super cool feature available to pro users. You can re reposition and resize your photo. We're going to add an outline because that's a very popular look right now on YouTube. So go to Effects on the image palette, click Outline, and then you can change the color and you can also adjust the thickness, the intensity, and the fade to your liking. So we're gonna go with white and make it a little thicker. That looks so, so good. So next we'll look at the text. We're gonna click on the text layer that we want to change and we'll click inside the text box and just start typing our own words. It'll keep the properties of the existing text. However, you can modify it if you want to. We're gonna do that by making this text box smaller and moving it up a little bit. For the other text box, we're gonna do pretty much the same thing, but we are going to resize and reposition where it is on the thumbnail. And I think we'll also change the font. So from the text palette, Go to the font drop down, choose what you'd like instead, and yes, there we go. We're going to make this a little bit bigger, position it, and that looks great. Next, it's the background. So click background on the layers palette. It'll open the background palette, and you can replace the image, or you can change it to a solid color. We're going to choose a new image for the background. The same sort of gradient, but something darker to make our text really pop. So here's one. Let's see how that looks. And that looks great. So it really makes our text stand out. Adjust the background by pulling the corner handles shifting around the entire image and get it positioned how you prefer. You can also add graphics to your thumbnail if you want for more sort of playful visual interest. You can search our huge graphics library of over 8,000 graphics, or you can choose one just by browsing through. We are going to look in the social media category for this heart text box graphic. You can resize it and move it. And we're also going to change the color by clicking on the graphic palette using the eyedropper tool to pick up a color that's already in our thumbnail so it matches. Then we'll copy paste to duplicate and move the other one over just a bit for balance. There you have it. When you're ready to export, go up to share and choose YouTube thumbnail and you can export your YouTube thumbnail design directly from PicMonkey into YouTube once your account is connected. That's how you do it. Thanks for using PicMonkey.